absolutely gorgeous. It was a nice cool evening last night. They're clear for no lens. We just took our animals for their annual checkup. Took half of them anyways. But right now I have this piece of cement, or this piece of cement block. See how that's pooling. What I'm gonna do is take the neutral density off and I'm gonna put the exposure normal so it's so now you see this really bright spot. That's what it looks like with the naked eye. Whenever I turn the lens off, you're gonna see the concrete glow. Or the cement block glowing. Is there a lava spot right there? Now if you take the stick and bring it over even though it hasn't been exposed for a little bit and it's very windy out. See how hot that is. I'm gonna let this heat up. So while this rock heats up, what I'm gonna do is show you. So we're gonna bring it over here. Eye protection. This is a cement bowl that I made a couple years ago. But what I'm gonna do is take that hot rock and drop it in there. Anytime you do this, you wanna wear eye protection because the rock could actually explode when it comes in contact with the water. There's eight ounces of water there. That was the other half of it. But the 68, this whole bath of water, it's about 130 degrees now. Some hardened cement. Here we go. So even though that this type of cement actually explodes, some rocks will do that too when you hit them with heat. If you gradually raise the temperature, you can melt them. So this is that hunk of cement that was exploding just a few seconds ago. We gradually raise the heat in an area and you can see that it is not exploding anymore and it is actually melting pretty good. So now we are going to melt this can without burning. I'm going to try not to burn it. So we're going to go slowly with the heat to get it to melt. It's easy to just vaporize the can in a spot and burn it. I don't want to do that. 
so I, I've got the lens at a different focal length to gradually heat the metals up. The paint's gonna burn off. You know, we're gonna see what we end up with. I'm just gonna go after it. Let's see. Neutral density's on. And yeah, we'll go auto exposure. I'll turn this neutral density down. Turn the neutral density off, set the exposure to normal. That's what it looks like. And we're gonna shut the power off. That's the remnants of our can. We had fun melting stuff with the Fresnel lens. You can do aluminum cans. I would definitely recommend a crucible. Just put them in there, start them off slow, let their temperature build. Let it melt. You could probably melt maybe 20, 25 cans with this big Fresnel lens at one time. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.